Right, hello fellas, it's uh, experiment time, and if you don't know what I'm on about, I'll just give you a quick recap. I'm going back now a good year and a half, maybe a little bit longer, uh, I had a beer on tap here, I drew four bottles, just straight under, pulled four bottles off, and uh, I opened them at various lengths of time. I did a two week. Uh, a two week, a five week, an eight week, and I did a six month one. Idea behind it, it was just to see if you're bottling off keg uh, to send out with beer mails or give to your friends, whatever. I wanted some sort of guideline of how long it would stay decent in bottle, as in how long would it stay carbonated, pulling it from tap. Would it get oxygenated because it's mixing with air? Uh, would it get off flavours? Anything. And so I did the two, five, eight, and six month, and they're in a playlist of which I'll stick this one on. And people were saying at the time, oh, leave one for longer. And when I went to pull another one off, it uh, it had kicked, it kicked in that keg. So the very next beer I put on, I uh, took two bottles of Golden Stag, it was Golden Stag that I did, and I did two bottles of that, and we left one for a year, and we did a video on it, and then people were saying, oh, leave it two year, leave it two year for this second bottle, and then I think it was Frank, Frank, Home, uh, Frank Homebrew 77, he uh, commented, if you send a bottle out to somebody, surely they're not going to leave it two years before they drink it, which, what a fair point. And, and he says, just leave it a year and six months, which, that's what we've come up to now. Well, it's actually, I think, roughly just about a year and seven months. So, we're going to get this one cracked, and get it in a glass, and see what we think. Straight away, there were a hiss on that. Uh, so I'll get it in glass and I'm pretty sure this is the same glass that I've used on all of them so it gives a more what's the word fairer accurate account uh, like I said this is a golden stag and I've had it in fridge and I'll tell you what Going off appearances, you'll just see there's loads of carbonation in that. I'll get a better view there. So, looking at that, appearance wise, I can't see anything wrong with that. It does actually, it doesn't help me having the red wall behind me. You get in. It's a lovely. Can I get it somewhere? I'm looking at that, and that's a lovely golden straw like colour. So it looks like a, a reddy brown when you look at it here with light and wall. Uh, lovely head, plenty of carbonation. So I think we've survived on uh, that one. Give to smell. See if there's any off uh, aromas. Which there isn't. There is a slight, slight hop aroma. And I think I mentioned it last video. Golden Stag. It has got a, quite a, a strong aroma to it. That has faded. It has faded considerably to what it is when you first do it. And it's fresh on keg. But there's still a substantial aroma, hoppiness. So we'll dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Now, anybody who doesn't know, Golden Stag. Is a premium 
uh, kit brew. It's a festival kit. You get a box, two pouches of uh, malt extract in, and packets of your hops and all that jazz. Uh, and I would say personally, it's one of the better kit beers that you can do, because there's good ones and there's bad ones. Golden Stag is is up there with some at best, if not one at best kit beers, and. Uh, that's definitely not lost anything. Apart from a little bit of aroma. Still quite clean and fresh. And it actually, how can I explain it? It tastes more carbonated than it looks, if that makes sense. You can feel it fizz on your tongue. which I'm quite happy with that. Lovely. So as a quick recap, if you're going to bottle a beer off tap uh, as a beer mail or whatever, I know now from my own experience, a year and seven month, you can leave them. That's been in bottle a year and seven month. Uh, and apart from a little loss in aroma, you you won't know. It's got better, if anything. It's crystal clear. Crystal clear. And it's just a lovely beer. So, I will be putting this onto playlist. If you're interested and you want to see the other beers that I did, uh, a playlist so I'll just click on that and I'll catch you next time everybody cheers